Hey guys, I've been having a, a ton of fun really with my um, with my new photon. It is expensive. This this internet button here is sixty dollars, but but delivered, um, and it's it's been fun. So uh, I've also discovered this sort of um, particle CLI Node.js app. Um, I'm not too sure what TTL means. Time to live. What, what's time to live sixty mean? Um, that's my ID, and I'm not too sure. I mean, I know I've set up uh, IFTTTT. Oh, you can see that I'm getting all these notifications on my mobile. I have set up IFTTTT. Uh, if then, then that or something. Um, and it and I do see and uh, when I use subscribe, I do see these event checks, which I find quite interesting. Uh, is that coming from here out or in? to this uh, I don't know um, yeah I'm, I'm having fun but there's still some questions that I just don't I don't really quite understand for example the whole joining the wireless thing is a bit strange to me like if you do make your own product they have a web page here um, if you do make your own product but I don't like this font color it drives me nuts uh, I need to override that somehow if you do have your own um, product based on the photon, how do you um, how do you make it join the customer's Wi-Fi? Um, do you have to actually create a mobile app to do that? That seems kind of nutty, but it doesn't really say that. Um, well, let me give you some nice uh, funky demos here. I love this thing, the rainbow, animated rainbow for five seconds. Ah, isn't that awesome? Um, I was actually expecting to subscribe to the events, but I think it's, that's just due to the firmware. Um, let me see, there is um, particle, um, I think there's one book called Play. I mean, all the, it all depends on um, your, the, the current particle firmware that you're running and I must say they're 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 apt to um, oh they're they're apt to install new firmware through the web is kind of remarkable I must say oh my child is freaking out um, what else I've been doing particle I don't understand the webhook stuff the webhook stuff seems to come from there out I was kind of hoping I, I kind of don't understand how I get a I put a get request to straight into there. Um, and what else? This thing, this gauge thing, is quite fun. But you wouldn't know the um, you probably wouldn't know where it is. You wouldn't know that's thirty five, would you? Um, well, lead on. You can toggle individual LEDs, of, co of course. Um, you can make them all go on. It all depends on the firmware. And Oh yeah, the firmware is the one I'm running here, is it? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And yeah, um, to be honest, when I first tried it, sometimes when I compiled the code, it would fail. And then you just press that and like a few seconds later, you got the firmware on. And to get the new, um, the other pieces of firmware, you got to go into libraries, then you go into internet button, and then you have these options on the top. And when I first started try, trying it out, it wasn't grabbing the, um, the internet button header, the library that goes along with them. But otherwise, I've been pretty impressed. Yeah, you get different ones. This is the most basic one. There's six or seven or eight examples. Also, a GitHub repository. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I need to tend to my child now, but I hope that gives you an idea of this bad boy. Let's see, that's quite a cool animation, isn't it? Okay, 